Hi again, thank you all for watching. Uh, je m'appelle Elina Street, uh, je suis donc la réalisatrice de Undressed. Uh, J'espère que vous avez aimé le film. Uh, en fait, j'ai tourné le film à Paris. Uh, L'appartement que vous voyez, uh, c'est un appartement dans lequel j'ai beaucoup vécu quand j'étais petite. Et um, uh, en Seine-et-Marne aussi, uh, j'ai grandi là-bas. And we shot there a lot. Um, donc voilà, euh, pour commencer, en fait, the story is based on my friend, Malou Kawandro, who is also the lead in Undressed, and it's her story uh, when she, at a point in her career, was not getting cast as an actress, she uh, became a life drawing model, and she would tell me about all these interactions where she would um, meet someone that she did not know at all and she would go t into a hotel room or she would go uh, to someone's house and spend an hour or two there uh, being photographed or painted. And so I found it really interesting and I thought, you know, wh when she was telling me that I was thinking a lot of the times a spectator would probably expect you to go to these places, get undressed, and uh, have some sort of sexual uh, involvement. And so for me, it was interesting to challenge that whole programmed mindset that the audiences usually have. So um, I hope it worked, but the audience is meant to think that she's doing that. And um, at the end, she reveals herself to her girlfriend. And for me, it was important to explore that Undressing for her is a way to feel empowered and le regard de l'autre sur soi-même uh, is what she gets a thrill from of and she needs it. And so her partner at first doesn't really understand it and au final, um, I'm portraying a relationship that was also quite close to me because uh, her girlfriend is based on my ex-girlfriend and uh, we were always disconnected in that way. And at the end, there's this uh, weird ambiguity where you see um, her girlfriend, uh, her character's name is Alex, uh, just looking at the camera. Her, her eyes are open. They're in bed. They're supposed to have had that one talk, but one talk, as we know, is not enough for a relationship to really change. And she's not really convinced. And so that was sort of wanted in, in a way I just wanted to see where the story would go. Um, in terms of the power of filmmaking, that's another question that was asked. Uh, I, I'm, there's endless opportunities in filmmaking in expressing um, an emotion um, and a story. And I have made very different kinds of films because of that flexibility. Um, I made a period piece before, I made a music video, I just made a documentary film and this is a narrative and there was a lot of improvisation so it was important for me to work with like chemistry tests and sort of a guided uh, improvisation with my actors and I made it feel cinematic with the way I wanted it to be shot uh, but a lot of it is improvised uh, so that was fun to play with that um, also just playing with location as well Whenever they're together, it's in an enclosed apartment space. It feels a little bit more claustrophobic. Um, and when Cleo, um, the lead, goes outside and has these encounters, I wanted it to always be different because that's the spontaneity of life, not knowing where you go and having things always be different. Voilà. Um, une question très importante qui a été posée, c'est uh, why... What role does queer play um, in my creativity? So for me, it's see, it's vital to represent uh, queerness in film because it's still very underrepresented. And what's important, what I try to do is, so I identify as um, lesbian, and pour moi, c'est très important uh, de raconter une histoire. Um, avec la présence du queer, mais ne pas juste raconter l'histoire euh, du queer seulement. And it's really understanding that 
it has to be normalized in that way. So in Undressed, her relationship with her girlfriend is that added layer. And yes, there is the layer, and c'est très important pour moi parce que, uh, as we, uh, unfortunately, we are often stereotyping within our community. And um, I have had partners in the past who, you know, told me I should look femme. And they were sort of putting me in that box. You're the femme lesbian. And so it was interesting in Undressed to have a relationship with two women in that way where um, there's perhaps a battle of being seen and how are you seen and how are you represented as queer but also simply as yourself, as human. Um, so, voilà, pour moi c'est très important. C'est, um, it's important to keep the stories... Um, about queer, with queer, and not just tell a coming out story. Voila. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please follow my work, Alina Street. And I recently made a documentary about the 21 remaining lesbian bars in the U.S. It's free online to watch. Thank you all so much. Au revoir. À bientôt.